Welcome back to the big show. You know, as the recent weather has proven, golf season in Minnesota can be any time of year. Apparently it's a, now. <laughs> it is It is right now. And like you guys can see that right there. Huge event happening this weekend. It's uh, ready to improve your golf game. The Midwest's largest golf show tees off today at the Minneapolis Convention Center. Well, here to tell us all about it is the Minnesota Golf Show ambassador. Her name is Emma Carpenter. She's on the University of Minnesota women's golf team. She's also the host of the Five Clubs podcast. Emma, welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. Oh my gosh, yeah, we love so that great. you're here. This is awesome. Okay, tell us, take us back to those first, uh, you know, few times where you started to realize, boy, I love this game. Oh, absolutely. So I started playing golf when I was 12. Um, I played other sports as well and was very into singing and theater. So I was very, very busy, but um, my dad brought me out on the golf course one day and I participated in the drive, chip and putt contest, <laughs> if anybody's heard of that. That one but and ever since then the rest was history so got recruited to play up here at the University of Minnesota and it's been a dream come true and uh, just couldn't be happier that's awesome. yeah it's so and you were saying earlier that in high school you played on, on the boys team there just wasn't not enough girls for the girls team so you played with the boys as well yes sir yes sir when I first came in uh, despite coming from a, a smaller town but usually large enough for a women's golf team at that point um, there wasn't one at the time so I showed up for the first day of tryouts and I said coach I want to play the back tees with the boys and try my shot at playing on the boys team so that's what I did throughout high school it was an unbelievable experience and really prepared me a lot for everything that I was gonna kind of face in the future especially just being a part of a male dominated sport yeah. and uh, male dominated industry so just to be able to be a part of uh, the female golf community and just try to continue to grow that's been really special. I do yeah. think that's certainly changing though I mean when I look at like my I mean my kids golf my nine-year-old girl loves it and seeing more and more women and it becoming more more of a family sport couples like to go out together that has to be encouraging for you. Oh that's absolutely right whenever I see young girls women of all ages out on the golf course families out on the golf course it just it warms my heart like I could even tell you it, it makes me so happy I think the future for golf in general and for women's golf is so bright and to be able to be a part of it is is amazing Aww. yeah and you've got a big weekend coming up so you're gonna be at the convention center yes, you're sir. gonna be one of the ambassadors helping people out you know talk about golf find uh, find you know the love of golf for a lot of people you're awfully busy you got a podcast you get your master's degree Yes, I mean, sir. you don't. How do you find all this time? And then, what are you? What are you going to be doing at the convention center? What are all the details with that? Yeah. So, um, yeah, I love to stay very busy. Um, I'm very, very fortunate at the University of Minnesota and the athletic department. We have so many resources. I'm surrounded by so many great people. Um, push. They push me every single day uh, to be the best version of myself and just to continue chasing after my dreams. But uh, this weekend at the golf show, it's going to be amazing. I was out there today already. Um, I'm going to be uh, on the podcast stage a lot. Going to be doing. In a live podcast tomorrow wow. afternoon with uh, Jesse Acharya, who is uh, with PXG, uh, with MGA, also with my assistant coach Matt Higgins will join me as well. So at the golf show, there's so much going on. There's so much apparel. There's a demo area with equipment uh, that you can try for your chance at a hundred thousand dollar putt. All the proceeds going to First Team Minnesota. Um, just endless things, all things golf, all things Minnesota that you can find there. So if you're a golf fan, just getting into it, having played your whole life, whatever it may be, that's where you need to be this weekend. It's the time to get really excited. And I think seeing all the new gear and all of that definitely makes people pumped. Um, I love Jessie from PXG. You got to tell oh, her I said great. hello. She's, she's so wonderful. Um, you are going to teach us a little bit about putting though, you know? That's right. That's I, I don't right. want to brag, but I did take golf lessons a couple summers ago Oof. and I did play in one pro-am. Okay. And that was about it. But you know. Well then maybe you're going to have to be the one teaching me. I got a putter for each of you guys. <laughs> all right. Thank you. So. Thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Yeah. See, yeah, you got to go for head cover on yours too. This I got is a little bit there. for this bad oh, to handle, can you but you know what? That? I can do it. Emma and I are friends, and so I'm going to do okay with it. I've got all the faith in the world in you, Liz. <laughs> all right. All right. So, so what's the key here? When what do you think the most common mistakes people are making when they're putting? Gosh, you know, I would say personally, for me, one of the most important things is just feeling really good about your alignment over the golf ball. If okay. you if you practice enough, or if you at least have enough confidence in your string that you can in your stroke that you can get the ball started on the 
the line. If you feel really good about where you're aiming, I think that it'll be pretty good every time. It's important to, when you're over the golf ball here, you never want to be too tense. You want to let your arms just kind of hang straight down. Yeah. This How ball. obsessively are you reading the greens when you're out? Some of these guys are nuts. They're standing out there for 10 oh. minutes reading the greens. Liz, I would say more obsessively than I'm proud of. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's like, all right, Emma, you know, at the end of the day, you still got to hit the pot. You got to give it your but best go. But there is go. so much to look at. I mean, I, I listen to these golf pros and like, well, I got to know the type of grass that the, oh, the, the oh green yeah. is. Oh, and then yeah. I got to see where the where it's like bending, where the top of the grass blades are bending. Like totally. they, all of that. Like it's the like shadow. It's like golf takes five hours. Yeah. Oh, no, no kidding. <laughs> right? Yeah, well, uh, all the different kinds of grass. Down south, you see a lot of Bermuda grass, so there's what's called grain, so it's depending on the way that the grass is growing, it can affect the way that the ball rolls. So you can take a look at the cup, and you can see kind of where it's growing over, or where it's a little more damaged, and all, we're getting in a real Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah, we're, we're getting, getting real into Yeah, yeah, but yeah. As, okay, so I watched you get sort of lined up there. Yeah. I've seen people do this a lot of different mm -hmm. ways. You put the ball right in the middle of your stance. Is just, that... Just barely a little bit forward. Yes. Okay. Really, really well. That's what well. Karen taught me. Yeah. I'm remembering this. <laughs> because uh, you want to be swinging just barely up on it to get the ball rolling perfectly. You never want the golf ball to bounce. So you okay. want it to roll on the ground the entire time. Got it. So, But it's really important if you can keep your – don't. you never want to grip the putter too tight because then your wrists get too involved. Mm -hmm. So for me, I grip – you can grip it however you want. This is a regular putting grip. I grip it with my left hand low. Okay. So just barely in the, in the front of my stance – and just kind of rock my shoulders. Here she goes. This is very exciting. Okay. Oh, you got it in there. <laughs> I mean, Emma. That was close to I, missing, but. Uh, no, no, that okay, just had Elizabeth, style. Okay, you're, you're up first. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. You got it, okay. you got it. I haven't I done this in, in a you. while, but I do know a little. I, I've paid attention, yeah, okay. So, so soft hands, and then just let those shoulders rock. Soft hands, warm heart. There you okay. go, All right, love let's it. Let's do it, okay. And do it. Oh, oh you were I was robbed. I was totally that robbed. Was, it was just a little too much power. Okay. All right. Okay, then so just you, slightly, you're gonna slightly wrap in front. Here, buddy. Okay, yep, line on. this thing up. Show us All what right. You got. I feel nice and relaxed. All right, here we go. Yeah. Oh, oh no. No, it went in. I am shocked that <laughs> Emma is better than us. It's so shocking. I know. She Emma. makes you make it look so okay, effortless. Okay, you're amazing. So so I would like you to be our official golf correspondent. Uh, Emma is a gem. So again, the Minnesota Golf <laughs> Show <laughs> kicks off today at the Minneapolis Convention Center. Tickets cost fourteen dollars. We have all the information you need on TwinCitiesLive.com, and you can follow Emma on Instagram at Emma Carpenter. Spell Emma with three M's. Look at you. I, I just did as well. <laughs> yep. So you guys wow. go, to, go to Instagram and follow her. Awesome. You guys don't go anywhere because coming up next on Twin Seas Live, reporter Kristen Hobrick is going to knock on someone's door to surprise them with a trip to Florida. You guys don't want to miss this. TCL's Best Winter Yet is presented by Rainy Lake Tourism, Minnesota's family vacation destination. Snowshoeing, cross-country skiing, and snowmobiling in the winter, to fishing, boating, and kayaking in the summer, Rainy Lake offers year-round recreation. Visit rainylake.org.